or if I did it the wrong way, I did the right way. Ha, ah, I can record now. Um, this is the August 13 package managers sprint planning plus weekly check-in, so public forum sort of thing. Um, hey y'all, did I say the things? I'm going to share my screen in case we'd like to use the board. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. Ooh. Uh, let's see, we did updates and all the things. So this week, what are we doing? Sorry, my brain's still dead. Is this all, has there, have things changed or is it about the same? Um, we can go through. Do things need to change this week? What would we like to do this week? That sort of thing. And I, I have some options for what I do next week. It's no longer super constrained to like it must be A and then B and then C. Cool. Um, so I have some thoughts, but if anyone like has any priorities, mostly, I don't know, Andrew, if Andrew has any priorities of anything he'd like to see from me, then, then that would be helpful. Um, basically like the PR, the PR is required to make the IPNS things usable will hopefully, are will land soon, regardless of how much time I put into it. It's basically like, just, uh, it's like this close, just a little bit of back and forth. Um, and so after that, it's like, all right, cool, like what next? Um, and I can either start working on more performance related pub sub things, which need to get done and have ongoing PRs, uh, or I can work on things like make sure that your IPNS things are pinned, uh, are pinned locally and we'll re you'll restart publishing them when you restart your daemon. Um, they all have to get done, but if there's a priority ordering, then we get to know that. I'm trying to remember from what we talked about last week. This always, it's, yeah, this always happens every Monday. Uh, Andrew or anybody else have? Opinions, thoughts. Uh, if you're confused, know. if you open up the, the yeah, yeah, yeah. issue, there's like five checkboxes. Oh, the awesome. question is whether I'm oh, yeah. checkbox number one or moving Thank to you. a different checkbox. Thank you. Uh, sorry, which number? 82. 82. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you for digging me out of that hole. Oh, yeah. Totally talked about this. Yeah, so the question is, are we, are we ready to move to number two? Or if no one needs number two just yet, I'll just keep hanging out in pub sub things until that's all cleared up. Let's see, reading. <laughs> Everyone's making shrug faces. <laughs> Okay. Uh, nobody has a super strong priority opinion, unless Andrew, you just needed a moment to think about which might be more useful for our use cases. I think the um, the order is that the, nothing from what we've spoken about before seems to have changed from a priority point of view. Um, I think, I guess the the main thing to work out is like how to how to unblock. A dean most effectively so that he can not go mad in there or not wait and kind of end up bouncing between PRs too much. But uh, I don't know if that if there's there's an obvious route there. The dean, do you think there's? Uh, I mean, I'm, I've gotten I've gotten used to some of the bouncing in the sense like I'm gonna. One thought I had, and I talked with Stephen a little bit about this, is seeing if there's, um, as part of trying to like separate out the IPNS stuff into a separate library, which I should add on here as, as a thing to do. It's not really a feature as much as like make things easier for people. Um, that plus the pub sub stuff, see if there's ways I can make this like slightly reusable. There's like a few non IPNS specific cases where we in theory could make use of this, like distributing information on like what the relays are without making everyone do DHT queries and not know when to stop. Um, Cause apparently we 
we we do a lot of asking about relays, um, given that everyone is behind a NAT, and maybe we shouldn't do that because you should just know who they are. So there's like a few options about that, and there's an issue I can link to, but um, it's sort of I'm just trying to keep like another goal in mind, given that the file system package manager IPNS goal is not needs has much fewer has was sort of designed to have much fewer ipns demands because at the time it was super unreliable my understanding is that ipns over dns is blocked right now on hugo creating a spec for what's been done in jsipfs is that correct or is this unblocked now it's uh dominic go ahead We can't hear you, Dominic. Helps if you plug it in first. Have you tried turning it off and on again? I think the TLDR, because uh, I, I think I know, uh, is that it is it is blocked but also we didn't put a high he is aware that if we want to make it a higher priority for him to get the spec out we can do that but we haven't flagged that for him as something we want to do um so that's i think that's where it is it's it's like blocked but we're okay unless we want it to not be okay i don't know what else he's got on his plate molly do you know been doing testing, testing stuff, and proving proving JSIPFS tests, and that's his main OKR for the quarter. Um, I feel like we flagged this in a previous core implementations meeting, but like this is blocking, and we would like for it not to be blocking. Um, and so, like, you know, I like it feels like we can't land this super nicely until we have a spec for it because we can't communicate what it is and how it works. Um, so I guess there's, and this would then be an additional transport for IPNS that would be really fast, um, semi-centralized, but really fast. And that, that gives some additional benefits, though, as you mentioned, not critical for the file systems goal. Um, very useful for everyone else who uh, wants to rely on IPNS for, say, making their dApps work quickly and nicely. Um, so that it, it seems like if, if it's feasible for us to push this forward, and I think it's probably higher priority than improving like a, a quarter long goal to improve JSIPFS testing um, coverage, then we should push on this sooner rather than later because it's blocking others, whereas the other stuff isn't. Um, so that would be my my analysis. Um, it's also it's also like not a quarter long thing. It's like you spend a couple of days right after spec and you're done um, at most. So like. Yeah, it's not like, basically, it doesn't really make sense to block something that's less priority and really long term on something that is short and like don't block people. Yeah, that, that's fine. We can flag that. Although I don't think it's going to be like necessarily just a couple of days because there hasn't been a crazy amount of review on the thing. And so before it becomes a spec and gets moved over to start doing Go things, we're going to need to have some review time and make sure we're all happy. Yeah. There will be some spec review. There are a couple of things I would like to change as well. Uh, so yeah, but I, I don't think it'll. You're right. It'll probably take about a week of total stuff. Yeah, I mean that, that's fine. We can flag that. I'll I'll ping him. That sounds good. I don't know if y'all will be able to organize that for this week, but we can keep a track of that. And maybe next week becomes the solve this thing week. Move it off of the of the list, which would be great. Moving things off of lists feels really good. Cool. Uh, Adin, did we answer your question or not really? <laughs> um, not really, but that's not really is an OK answer, too. It just means that I have to make some decisions. I just needed to know if anyone else needed anything that was going to prompt the decision making. I'll do a survey of things Scope just needs, and we can talk later. Well, keep on keeping on, I suppose. 
and try to ship smaller things if we can, which might involve lots of annoying work following up with lots of people, which doesn't feel like work, but it's important work. <laughs> and maybe I'll mail all of you some cookies or something if we finish a thing and can say like, IPNS is a bit faster. You know how many people would be super happy about that? Lots and lots of people. <laughs> So you can start, if you like it, Dean, too, if you have some spare time, you can start working on a blog post or something. Like, this is what we did. <laughs> or anything. I guess, no, I guess I actually need to, like, formally write off the PubSub IPNS spec and how that changes from how we're currently using it. So I should probably just do that this week. That'd be good. Cool. And if you uh, need to make an issue, please do that as a separate thing. That way it's in our little in progress column and we're good to go. Okay, um, anyone else who's up or who would like to be up for the week? Even if you're just saying, I'm good to go, I know what is happening this week, just let us know. Uh, I can go. Thank you. Um, yeah, so I had a chat with Stephen uh, yesterday about uh, taking on the uh, performance work around adding files in Go. Um, I haven't had a chance to start that yet because uh, part of the, so uh, there was an issue opened on the JS IPFS repo um, about someone who's having problems adding large folders to, IP, uh, to JS IPFS. Um, something somewhere is eating all the memory, but it's not a memory leak because after a while uh, the memory that it's consuming gets uh, garbage collected. So what it is is during this refactor from pool streams to async iterators, something somewhere in the memory uh, usage profile has changed. Uh, that means that all this stuff is now backing up into memory, which is in his case was causing uh, the process to get killed because he's running it on a machine that uh, didn't have a whole lot of memory and is a virtual machine my suspicion is with no uh, swap space configured. Good. Hopefully what I'm saying is interesting and it's worth listening to. Um, so I had a little chat with Al and we are gonna try and remove uh, a lot of the misdirection that occurs to a stream of bytes between you adding it and it getting into IPFS, which should, make it a little easier to debug what's happening. Because I can see that uh, from taking lots of heap dumps and comparing them, um, all the data is backing up in uh, node streams, like in the streams implementation in node core. Um, so there's basically, a, there's a function in there that says like, can I can I emit this data or, or should I buffer it? And it's buffering it and creating this enormous linked list structure that stretches on forever. Um, so yeah, we're either not consuming it quickly enough or we're probably not consuming it quickly enough, basically, uh, which means it all gets backed up. Um, but we should be able to say, don't consume this data this quickly to the stream. Uh, the high watermark basically says, you know, I don't want, uh, this is the size of chunk that I want. Um, you know, don't give me too much data. And that is getting lost somewhere. Um, and so we convert between async iterators and streams and pool streams quite a lot in the current code base, um, but not too badly in the file import parts, which is one I'm looking at. So the bit that is outstanding on that is the actual importing of files from the IPFS layer before it reaches the UNIXFS manipulation. So I'm trying to take out all the pool streams and stuff in that and just have it be all async iterators. Um, so that's what I'm doing at the moment, sort of emergency, everything's on fire kind of affair. Any questions? Yeah, look on fire, so that's cool. It's just this calm exterior is, is masking. Outside. Yeah, that's healthy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, you probably won't be starting or working on any of the IPFS ad stuffs this week in that case. Wait a minute. I'm an eternal optimist. I'd like okay, to think I'll we'll get it fixed tomorrow. Optimism's good. Otherwise, yeah. Thank you for the update. We could do that thing where we choose the next person, I suppose, that, that um, 
Stephen suggested. Although this one I feel like is less of a choosing a next and group discussion, if anything needs to be group discussed on what we need to do for the week. So, um, Why don't you vol volunteer someone? Sure. Well, I'll make it easy. Dirk, you're probably doing the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Is your stuff going? <laughs> um, so, yeah, so uh, I've been working quite a bit with uh, our partner in the collaboration. So um, this week I'm hoping to get to a point where we can run some benchmarks on their test lab uh, so that we'll have something to compare, about, uh, compare against as we're making improvements to BitSwap. In the meantime, I'm also working through some ideas with Stephen about how we can make BitSwap uh, perform better for this use case and just in general. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm focused on this week. Any questions? Cool. I'm just excited to see what you're thinking about with BitSwap so, or future of BitSwap that may or may not be called BitSwap. I don't know what y'all are going to do, but yeah. Yeah, there's kind of a couple of different avenues we're pursuing at the moment. Uh, Dominic, do you want to go next? Uh, am I audible? Yes. Perfect. Um, sure. So uh, this week, I'm just basically going to be continuing the work I've been doing. Uh, I'm a little behind on it just because of some unexpected like issues. Um, in particular, at the moment, uh, not to get too technical into it, but like I'm dealing with an issue where the core API is giving me back some data that I don't expect. It's like extra data, so it's a little strange. Um, but yeah, I'm, it's, it's like this highly concurrent thing. So I have to constantly be stepping through the debugger in a, in an arduous way. So I'm a little, a little behind on that, but, um, plan to, you know, continue on this and, and get it done. Uh, Steven says he wants to pair on that. So I'm game. I will warn you that I'm on zero hours of sleep at the moment. <laughs> so... <laughs> Uh, be wary of that, but I will definitely try. So yeah, that's uh, that's basically it for me. Outside of that, like previous stuff I've done is is not really related to this. So yeah, yeah may maybe sleep first and pair later. That's yeah. Also, you know, Stephen, I think you're on West Coast, yeah. So he's got like hours ahead of you. Sleep is good. Uh, oh, I guess there's me. Okay, <laughs> I can give an update, which is I'm still ping-ponging a bit between the cluster stuff and the stuff, which is making my brain hurt. But um, let's see. So this week, uh, finished that uh, service blueprint, um, at least enough for a first draft so I can share it with the world and write up a thing on um, the package manager's uh, repo that describes what that is and where it's going. And as part of that, see if we can link all these, well, not see, I will, link all these efforts in a summarized way into the bits of that chart or not, like how everything fits together. So hopefully we have a little bit of a um, better overview we can share, a more accessible overview of why we're doing the things that we're doing for the broader community and for us, because I can't keep my head straight from one day to the other, as you can all tell. Um, and I owe Molly, I owe you a couple things around OKRs and stuff. Um, I'll get there. Sorry. I just stuck a meeting on our calendar so that we mentioned doing that last week. Yeah, but thank you. Ran out of time, so now we have a slot, so we shall not forget. Thank you, thank you. Um, and I also owe some like emails out to the world with what the heck is going on. But if it all goes well, maybe I can send it along with this like, hey, look at this chart because pictures are nice and then you don't have to read all things. Um, yeah, and cleaning up Zenboard as usual, which I still haven't done today, today. Yep. Uh, questions or anything else you all would like me to prioritize? Besides, you know, what the heck does Michelle do on a daily basis? QL. Uh, anyone else want to give an update? Who did I miss? So I've been doing uh, some research into decentralized discovery uh, ongoing and lots of writing, but not very coherent right now. 
Hayır. Ne bileyim. There we are. That might be all the things for the week. What Andrew, have you have you seen some of the schemes for like tossing tags in a DHT for for decentralized discovery? They're a, they're a little wonky, and it's not clear how how performant they are. But just wanted to point those your way if you hadn't seen them. The one thing I I ran into this week is the word discovery has different meanings depending on the community of people that you talk to. And it's very much not looking at discovery from a peer-to-peer -peer find me peers find me content that peers have. It was more like how do I search i think search is the other word although it ends up being quite overloaded as well in that i don't know the identifiers that i want to be able to ask my peers for so i need to work out what they are um rather than i know the identifier and i would like the network to right then i need to discover who has pieces of that that can, can uh, get that to me um if that makes sense yeah, yeah. So there are some schemes that do like, in the same way that for PubSub, we have like, here's a channel and then there's a bunch of peers. You can also, there are schemes where you have like DHTs and you're putting like, you know, I, you know, my name is, you know, my name is Joe. And then there's like a thousand people who like claim their name is Joe. And then you figure it out from there. And you sort of, it's like tag based search. So it's not as nice as any of the more complicated search mechanisms, but it's, a thing you can do. Oh, uh, if you have any um, any reading about that, that sounds pretty interesting. I'm happy to check it out. Cool. I'm excited for my brain comes back and I can read such things also. Important stuff. We might build a great system, but we need to find things on the system. <laughs> Anything else for your plans for the week or otherwise? Besides sleeping, Dominic? Yeah, sleep. So there's yes. a package managers conference happening in October. I found about about two minutes after booking my flights uh, for a holiday on the same day uh, last night. It's invite only. But I think I can kind of say like, well, if you've invited me and I can't go, then invite this person instead. Um, someone recommended that I say that Eric should go. Uh, I guess the main thing is that it shouldn't just be like, oh, GitHub package repository is going to solve all our problems. And so like maybe have like an opposing point of view there rather than just someone who wants uh, GitHub to replace NPM and that'll solve all of our problems. Uh, so who are the people who are organizing it? GitHub, uh, the people behind GitHub package repository, because they now have a vested interest. Uh, wait, GitHub has a vested interest in being a package repository or not being a package repository? Because they don't use a ton of their bandwidth. Uh, both. They. Okay. Uh, so they have this new beta feature where you can you can publish your Ruby gems and your node modules next underneath the releases um, banner, which is different to like treating it as Cocoa Pods registry or as Go like storage for a non-official GitHub registry. I just, just want they want everything, right? So you got GitHub for the the source code, GitHub Actions for your CI, and then the GitHub registry for for your like deployment. So you know, release it. Still Microsoft. At the end of the day, you can't can't teach an old dog new tricks. Yeah, I mean the 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 areas they've highlighted are like oh all of these parts of package managers make it hard for us to take control of it um, but it's also like yes those are those are bad bits of package managers and so probably need to be fixed anyway 
um, you can definitely like just getting people in the same room together might end up being like oh all of our business models all of the way that funds us working on package managers will be will be undermined if github takes control of this so that might also happen um oh, so again uh, honestly when soon, uh, Git is probably doing this just because like they're already the package manager for like a lot of big projects um i think that they do a lot of stuff like I don't know how much stuff they serve for Rust. I know, like, uh, whatever, never mind. We have to get to that. But. So I believe it's um, that uh, people tend to buy uh, Arts Factory or some type Nexus or NPM Enterprise or Packages PHP uh, Enterprise alongside their GitHub um, Enterprise. And so GitHub are like, and GitLab already have a uh, built in NPM registry. So there's a lot of chasing whatever GitLab are doing as well. Um, so there's like, and they built it like three years ago and they struggled to ship it until very recently. So there's like what they want to happen and what actually happens are, there's, there's a long period of time in between those things. And it's in um, North Carolina, right? The, this conference? Called all things open. Uh, I don't remember where it is. On the I, website. Like I remember it's not the your link in Raleigh. Raleigh. On yeah, their right. website, yeah. Raleigh, 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 I think. So, all you East Coast people, it's not all that far. I guess ping, ping Andrew if you want to go. So probably valid to poke Eric and see if Eric is itching to attend. Is there also, um, I remember Eric went to reproducible builds in October, September, October of last year. Is that happening again this year or is that like a... heard anything? I would imagine they'd do one again at some point, but I've not heard anything. Okay, we should keep an eye out for that because that's a, a cool gathering of humans. Um, you mentioned that um, FOSDEM also has a ton of package manager folks that go to it. Okay, sorry, my brain is, there, there are thoughts back here, but they're not up here yet um, about different reproducible builds and blah, blah, blah things, but I'll work on that later. Maybe I'll catch one of you to chat. But um, yeah, what else, anything? You can have time back into your day. We don't have to stay here. You can be free for a little bit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or if you just want, you know, personal support, we can stop the recording. You can just leave this open and start work and complain about things if you need to. <laughs> We're here for you. <laughs> okay. I will stop the recording. We'll call this one a day for planning for the week. Wave if you want to.